My name is Dion Jerry Wilson and my major is I am getting my PhD in curriculum and instruction in science education. I've always sort of known that I needed to go to graduate school in um, initially first in marine biology and then continuing onward. Just the goals that I have uh, required me to go back to graduate school. I've always run away from education. Um, my undergraduate degree is in marine biology. Um, and the reason that I've always known that I didn't want to do education is because both of my parents are teachers. So having um, elementary math teacher and then a middle school math teacher every day hearing about the problems, I just knew that education wasn't going to be something that I did. But then after marrying biology and then after I started working at the aquarium and then I started teaching scuba diving, I realized that I didn't know that I had such a talent for, for teaching and then such a love for it too. So I always knew that I was going to do marine biology and so now I've just kind of morphed it into teaching about the ocean, so I love it. Coming into graduate school, I thought that there were going to be some obligations, but I never realized I'd have so many balls in the air. One time I've become a magnificent juggler, I like to think. Some days I'll have to go to a um, STEGSA meeting, which is the School of Teacher Education meeting. Some days I'll meet with my advisor and we're working on a proposal. Other days I'm meeting with my informal group and we're working on another proposal. Just a lot of different things going on throughout the day. Because if I, fi I find that if I don't start early and end a little late, then I don't have the weekend to myself. And that's what I'd suggest to anybody thinking about going to graduate school. Have a very structured day, know what you're gonna do, have a list, be about it. That way, when you need to take a couple of hours, you don't feel guilty about it. It's beautiful because um, I'm the first one in my family to into a graduate program. And it's nice knowing that my family's all there. I, I'm not there by myself. I stand on the shoulders of giants and on the shoulders of greatness, and they reaffirm that for me. I am interested, after leaving here and taking a position that will allow me to better understand science identity development of little black and brown kids um, in such a way that we can bring more people like me to science. And one of the things that I'm most proud of is that I'm a McKnight Fellow. Uh, so I take a lot of pride in saying that. One of the other things I'm very proud of is just the world that i am always been individually passionate for, but now I'm bringing it into the forefront of my life, is I've been participating in a lot of anti-racist and social justice initiatives. So a lot of different things happening around that, a lot of different conferences and forums and ways to think about things. The problems of this world, whether it's sea level rise or the amount of trash, the amount of CO2 within our atmosphere, the, all of these problems have to be, I would argue, addressed on a community level. I would say, because I took maybe, I took a few years um, between graduating from undergrad and coming back to school. I would say before coming back, make sure that this is something that you know you're gonna wanna do. Make sure that it's something, it's a topic that you are willing to sit and think with. Make sure that Whatever it is, you love it, because a lot of people told me it would be very difficult to go back to graduate school once I started making money and doing these things and being out in the world. So make sure that you know this is what you want to do, and, but once you know that it's what you want to do, go for it. The world is yours.